Well, I did what I did the last couple days and uh, got up to go just class from like, I don't know, 40 yards from our tent. And I get over there, set my bow down, look to my left, there's a cow right below me. if you can hear that on camera, but that's the sound of a herd thumping away. This cow got sp split up. She's going over the top here. I didn't see any bulls other than the 
had spikes. And it looked like there were probably a few elk that had already tipped over that ridge. But usually we've been seeing the bulls at the tail of the herd. So I don't know, I'm trying to get eyes on these guys again. But they're behind this bluff. And I'm not ready to go over there yet, so I need to wait for Alicia. I was able to wake her up when the cows are right below us. Um, what sucks is they were headed right where we have to go today anyways. On our way back to the truck. That would have been awfully convenient to be able to hunt, hunt them on the way down if they spooked that way. Or if they just went that way. But that's not how it goes in the elk woods most of the time. And when the herd spooked, already tipped over the edge. I got over here in time to see the herd kind of bunched up on this ridge. By the time I could get glass on them, I couldn't see any branch poles. So I don't know. Um, I imagine they're with them and they were just bringing up the tail of the herd. I haven't seen them come out anywhere. So they're likely holed up around the spring. So I think we're just gonna stand here for a couple minutes and see if we can lay eyes on them and figure out our plan from there. to our camp and headed down the drainage we have to go down today to get more food to go on where we probably shouldn't hunt them. So went from best case to worst case in the shift of the wind. It's frustrating because a couple scenarios that um, were like aiming to go our way in one case, the wind wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. Thermals weren't falling and missed a shot opportunity because of that. In this case, the wind was doing what it was supposed to do and it blew us. Missed a shot opportunity there. So, well, missed the chance of getting close enough to get a shot. I don't know, it's frustrating. And now the wind's blowing like crazy, it's blowing in a way that they wouldn't have winded us. I don't know. Now we gotta figure out what to do. So we're just gonna watch, uh, watch the herd for a little while, see what they do and go from there. We do have to leave camp today and get food. Set up pretty perfectly. So we're just 
just gonna listen and see if we can tell if they're moving, where they're moving, and try and get in front of them. back to the spring we want to be there but it is dicey with the weather coming it's one thing the last couple days the weather was good um, there's a storm blowing in if you can't tell I'm expecting temps to drop a lot and we're expecting snow rain sleet there's only a trail for part of it and even that it's it's steep there's no way to get stock up there and so if we could get the packer in there we still have a super dicey pack um, just to get to where Packer might be able to get to. We hiked in a couple miles, another thousand plus feet probably, to the spot where you can see two drainages that we've seen elk in before every time we've been in here. We just kind of assumed they'd be here and they're not. I mean, it is dead. It's so windy and it just feels dead. And we don't have a lot of time to waste. So we're gonna bomb out of here. We're gonna hit the bottom, get out of here. We're going to a trailhead we're familiar with, where we've seen elk before. <laughs> um, it's done us wrong twice. <laughs> and for some reason, we wanna go back. Um, I'm not sure why other than we know there are elk there and there are trails that we can get places. We have a packer already on standby and we're gonna go we're gonna bomb out of here we're gonna drive there tonight sleep at the trailhead and we'll be hunting in the morning that's what we're gonna do 